Hi, this is Matt Nelson, president of CDC Comics, and I'm here to talk about two very important points in collecting, preservation and storage. Because collectors are custodians of comic books, it is our responsibility to keep those comics in the best shape possible because they are ultimately passed on to future collectors. In terms of preservation, two aspects to consider are handling and environment. Handling the more obvious of the two involves carefully holding your comic book and avoiding physical damage. But environment, an aspect that's often overlooked, can degrade your comic book over time. Before a comic is certified by CGC, it is in a state we call raw. And these raw comics are typically stored in bags and boards. This is an example of a comic book in a polypropylene bag and also an acid-free board on the back that keeps it sturdy so it doesn't bend while stored in the bag. Mylar is another bag that's used to store comic books and while more expensive, is actually safer for the comic book. This one is stored in a Mylar which is typically opened along the top and also has the acid-free backing board to protect it from bending. Once a comic book is certified by CGC, it's encased in our tamper-proof holder, which provides sturdy protection for the comic book and prevents it from bending while being handled. Whether your comic books are stored in polypropylene bags, mylar, or encased in a CGC holder, they should be stored in acid-free boxes, standing upright. If your comics are stored in a plastic bag or mylar with an acid-free backing board, it's very important to make sure there's no space inside the box and they're packed tightly. This will avoid any sagging and curling of the books that could cause spine damage. It's also important to note that fireproof safes should be avoided for long-term storage of comic books, whether they're raw or CDC holders. Because fireproof safes trap moisture, over time, staples can rust. A less obvious aspect of preservation is the environment. Regardless of whether your comic books are stored in bags, milers, or in CGC holders, the environment can still have an adverse effect on them. Four components of the environment to consider are heat, humidity, air, and light. Of the four, heat is the most obvious to collectors. Most collectors know not to store their comic books in hot garages or attics. The ideal temperature is 64 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity, which involves the amount of moisture in the air, can also have an adverse impact on comic books. The ideal level of humidity is 45 to 60 percent. It's important to maintain these levels of humidity and temperature because any extremes or fluctuations can lead to oxidation and hydrolysis. Oxidation causes paper to turn yellow and hydrolysis will cause the paper to turn brittle. Another aspect that can lead to the degradation of comic books is light, particularly ultraviolet light. If comic books are exposed to light over long periods of time, it can lead to photo degradation and the fading of colors. You can view your comics at home or even display them at a show for sale. Short-term exposure to light like this is not necessarily dangerous, but you want to avoid putting them out for display for long periods of time. Comic books have a complicated relationship with air. While air has a small percentage of impurities in it, comic book paper also has impurities, particularly acids in the pulp paper of vintage comic books. This is why those comics need to breathe and why CDC holders are not airtight. If you'd like to read more about storage and preservation, make sure to pick up a copy of the official CDC guide to grading comic books. And if you have any comic books or magazines to submit, check us out at cdccomics.com. This is Matt Nelson. Thanks for watching.